Vara Negra Hams from Alentejo Pork Vara Negra ham is unique, 100% Alentejano, raised in the meadows of the Alentejo region of Portugal. The animals are fed 100% naturally, so the ham contains a high nutritional value, with a healthy amount of natural fatty acids, which is good for us, because it reduces bad cholesterol and encourages muscle and bone development. Before enjoying this delicacy, we might like to know something about its anatomy and the equipment necessary for an appropriate cut. Parts of the ham Massa Contramassa Ponta Jarret Equipment In professional use, the following equipment is recommended. Ham holder to keep the ham nicely fixed, allowing for rotation when necessary. Boning knife Short and hard blade to eliminate unaesthetic brown oxidized parts and separate the meat from the bones. Peeler knife Short and sturdy blade used to isolate the unaesthetic brown oxidized parts, tidy up areas and eliminate anything that might detract from the beauty of the cut. Kitchen knife Wide blade and sturdy to perform the initial cut and to eliminate blemished oxidized parts. Ham knife with Granton blade. Long, narrow and with a flexible blade to slice very smooth fat ham. Sharpening steel to put the edge back on the knife and the tongs for handling the sliced ham. For domestic consumption we recommend only ham holder, Boning knife, short and sturdy blade to perform the initial cut and to eliminate blemished oxidized parts. Ham knife with smooth face with a long and flexible blade and a sharpening steel to put the edge back on the blade. Initial cut, how to start, mark out and clean. After mounting the ham in the support, it is necessary to take into account where to begin to cut so as to take full advantage of the ham. For domestic use and frequent use, start cutting the contramassa area. For immediate consumption of the entire ham, it is recommended that you begin the cut in the massa area. Begin with a deep, circular cut around the shank, two fingers distance from the start of the hock, at a slight angle. Then remove the skin and oxidized fat until the color becomes whitish, pearlescent or pink. Before beginning to slice diagonally, it is necessary to make a diagonal cut in the region of the Achilles tendon with the aim of removing it. The perfect cut and slice. With the Vara Negra ham in the holder and the knife suitably sharpened, cut gently, making cuts parallel to each other. The cut should always be straight. The perfect slice should be thin translucent, evenly balanced between lean and fat meat, and of a size that makes the right size portion, with no folding in the mouth. The white spots on the surface are the result of a slow and long cure. They are a natural certificate of the quality of the curing process. The coxal bone. The first bone we come to is the hip bone. You should cut around the perimeter of the bone with a knife, with a short sturdy blade, and then proceed by cutting slices around it. Conservation and storage. Because it is a 100% natural product, it needs special treatment and must be kept in proper conditions, in a dry and cool place, without direct light and away from heat sources. To conserve for up to three days, we advise that you smear the cutting surface with fat from the ham extracted with the back of the knife. Then wrap the ham in cling film and cover with a dark cloth to protect from light. Union of tibia and fibula with the femur. The next bone structure you will find is the union of the tibia and fibula with the femur. Vertical cuts should be made in order to avoid cutting the tendons and then you can continue slicing just as you were before. With the femur exposed, we turn the ham over 
and continue the cut in the area of the contramassa. Second cut, rotation, against the massa and the ball joint. Here we find the hip bone again and proceed with the separation of the meat from the bone, cutting around it with a short knife. Here we also come across the knee where we proceed in the same way. Third cut, lateral rotation. With the femur already exposed in the areas of the massa and contramassa, we rotate the ham again and begin the third cut to achieve a better balance between lean and fat tissue. Jaret, tibia and fibula. Between the tibia and the fibula lies one of the tastiest parts of the ham. To access it, we must introduce the boning knife between these two bones and with a quick and firm blow, separate them. Leftovers and shavings. The parts that are too complicated to slice and the bones themselves can be used to complement and enrich the most varied Mediterranean recipes. Vara Negra, the taste of Alan Tejo craftsmanship.